Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to make a story time video. And as you can see up there, it says my first breakup. Um, I was, I had just turned 17 and, um, it was my best friend's brother. I've known this girl since, like, uh, kindergarten, preschool, I think. Preschool or kindergarten, I think. And so I've essentially known her brother that long. You know, we went, we met in preschool when I was about four or five, and now we're like 20, I think she's 19 and I'm going to be, and I'm going to be 21. So yeah. And, um, and so, you know, you know, so I've known them a very long time. I actually have, um, a, a two, uh, her and another girl that I'm really close with. Um, and, um, and so one day I get this message from her brother, uh, hey, Sin, you know, hey, Sin, Gary, I need to talk to you right away, you know, it's, it's important, so I'm thinking, oh, God, what happened, because when they, when they were little, their dad passed away, so I'm thinking, oh, my God, what happened, you know, was, you know, did something happen to their mom, you know, what happened, and so, you know, I, you know, I messaged him right away, you know, Hey, what's up? You know, what's going on? He goes, I was just wondering if you would go out with me. And keep in mind, this was on Facebook. So, I essentially got catfished, basically. And, um, and so I'm like, I don't, I don't know, like, how, you know, he starts going to, like, he's, you know, 16 or, you know, this and that. And I'm like, mm, no, like, I, you know, guys, you know. I had never been asked out by a guy before, so I'm like, hmm, what the hell, you know, let's see what happens. We dated for about four months, and throughout these four months, he kept going back and forth with his, with his age. He was 16, he was 17, no, he was 15. And so, um, and then he would also, like, uh, there was also times where we were on and off. There was one time when he had told me that he had just went out with me as a bet to his cousin for like 20 bucks, for 40 bucks or something like that. So we had broken up at that point for about a week or so. <clears throat> and then we got back together and, um, and yeah, and he just, he was lying to me a lot throughout four months. And so one day, uh, the day we broke up, uh, we were getting ready, I was getting ready to go to uh, Nightfall, it's kind of like um, a low-key version of Halloween Horror Nights, I guess, at this old western town in the middle of the desert, and um, and so he was going to go with us, um, and we still hadn't worked out like how it was going to be, like if me, my dad, and my stepmom were going to pick him up, or if we were going to meet him there and give him a ride back, or what was going to happen, and so as I was getting ready, I, you know, I texted him asking him, you know, what was going to happen, and, um, and I hadn't gotten a response from him, uh, so I called him, and I'm like, hey, hey babe, what's up, you know, what's going, what's going on, what, you know, how are we going to do this, and at this point, he tells me, I can't go, I was in an accident with my friend, and the car flipped, and I broke my arm, broke my leg, broke my arm, or something like that. And of course, you know, I was, you know, at first, you know, your first thought is, oh my god, I hope he's okay, what hospital is he in? I don't need to go, I'll just go and, you know, be with him over there. And so, as, you know, and so I told him, okay, well, you know, keep me posted, uh, you know, I'll still get ready because my dad still wants to go. Um, so, and it's, you know, a tradition, we go every year anyways. This didn't go uh, last year because we couldn't afford it. And so, um, you know, so I'm, you know, I'm getting ready and stuff like that. And, um, so he keeps calling me and telling me, well, the doctor thinks, you know, that I should, you know, stay, you know, you know, activity for, you know, for such and such a time. And, uh, after the third call, like, I started to catch on because my grandma, she's, you know, been in, the, in and out of the hospital for a few, you know, for a few years. And so, you know, I, I pretty much know what, you know, the sounds of a hospital are, you know, doctors being paged randomly, machines beeping, and stuff like that. 
every time he called me, I never heard any beeping, any doctors being paged, and, you know, doctors being paged is random, you know? You know, hey, you know, doctor such and such, your patient is going ape in psych ward, you might want to come and sedate him or something like that, you know? And so I never heard any doctors being paged. Like, you have to be a psychic to know how much time is in between each page before, you know, so you can, you know, so you can do something like that. And the beeping from the machines, you know, it's, it's constant. So, like, I finally caught on, like, this guy is lying to me, you know, it's, it's obvious. So I told him, you know, I'm done, you know, you, we, you know, for four months, you've lied to me about everything. So I broke up with him. <clears throat> And I still went to Nightfall. I, you know, Nightfall is one of my favorite things in the world. I love Nightfall. Um, so, you know, I went, and the whole time we're there, he's, you know, texting me, Babe, I'm so sorry, you know, let's go to the park, you know, let's go to the park, let's go to the zoo tomorrow, you know, let's talk it out, and stuff like that. And so I kept telling him no, and no, and no, I was like, no, you can't, you know, I'm not gonna do that, you know? So, I went and I enjoyed myself so much to the point that when we were sitting in the saloon waiting for a show to start, um, and I'm a sucker for line dances like Soja Boy, you know, Cupid Shuffle, uh, the Cha-Cha Slide, I'm like up and I'm like, let's do this. And uh, it's, the only, it's really the only dance that I'll get down on a dance floor and dance to. Um, <clears throat> and so... Um, Keep a shuffle came on. And I'm like, okay, you know, it's called the keep a shuffle for a reason. It's a mating call. Let's do this. So I went out there and I started dancing. And my dad recorded it, and um, so like, you know, I, I took it fairly well, you know, as opposed to other girls, who, you know, who like, you know, their first breakup, they like sit in front of the TV watching Netflix and throwing, you know, candy wrappers at the TV saying. It's a lie, he doesn't love you. No, no, I, I didn't do that, no. So, yeah. <clears throat> and, um, and so around Christmas time, we tried to get back together again. And, um, and he, of course, kept lying. And so finally, his mom, uh, got on, got on and texted me and she goes, You know he's 14, right? And I'm like, whoa, wait, what? And so, at that point, I'm like, he's 14, I'm 17. What's going to happen when I turn 18? I'm not going to go to jail just because, you know, this guy wants to, you know, keep lying to me. And I want to keep giving him chance to chance to chance to prove himself, you know, worthy. So, I just, I cut it off. And we haven't, we haven't talked once since then. Um, I don't even know what happened, like. The last I heard, uh, he was going to New York for school or something like that, and, um, so yeah, uh, I haven't, like I said, I haven't talked to him since, and it's like he just kind of disappeared from the face of the earth because he's, he's not friends with his sister, he's not friends with the girl that he went out with after me, um, you know, so it's, it's like he just disappeared. Which, you know, I mean, whatever, you know. You know, there, there is times that I do, like, he had his moments where he was, you know, where he was a genuine, you know, and his, I guess, my feelings. You know, so there is times when I do miss it, but, you know, then I remember four months of lies. Like, do I really want to put myself through that again? And then I'm like, no, just, no, there's, no, no, girl, girls, if you're out there and your boyfriend keeps lying to you and shooting on you, you keep giving him a chance to chance to chance. Just stop because he's he's not gonna change. So just stop and move on with your life. You don't need that. So yeah, guys. So that has been my first story time. Um, uh, I'll probably film film some more of these really quick before I go to bed, just so I have them on. So I just have them on the back burner. Or whenever. Uh, so yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.